Yeah, hi there. These comments are for ET, and you completed uh, one of my pronunciation lessons, and specifically, in this case, I think it's lesson number 12. Okay, so let's, let me download this for a minute. Okay, so you're almost there. Okay, here we go. Lesson number 12. Contrasting the vowels U, U, U. For simplicity purpose, the U sound occurs in stress syllables. And the E sound, U sound occurs in stress syllables. Okay. I consider as the U sound. All right. Listen, and, listen to and repeat the U, U, and U words you hear. All right. Number one, look, you look, luck. Okay, well, let me find this one for just a minute. So I have to go to my course. Luck. Got it. Here we go. So you're putting all three of them together here, right? Here we go. You look, luck. Number two. Good, not bad. So then, let's do the first one again. Look, Luke, luck. And with the second one, pronounce the T with a little more air. Took, tool, tough. Number three. Cook, cool, cook. Number four. Oh, wait a minute. Now the second one is uh, cut. Not could. But it's could, cool, cut. No, hook, who, hut. So you're having trouble with that that third column there. Hook, rust, rust. Good, you got that one. Rust, hut, cut, tough. They're all the same sound. So you know how to make the sound. Part of it is recognizing the spelling pattern along with the sound combination. So you might have a little trouble with that. But as you practice through my course, you should get a little fam more familiar with the way a word is spelled and how it's actually pronounced. Number one, look. Look. Lock. Okay. Number two, took. Better. Good. Number four. Hook. Who. Hut. 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 Number five. Wood. Roast. Rust. No. Wood. Roost. Rust. Again. Wood. Roost. Rust. Number Six. Good. Blue. Black. Okay. Number seven. Say that last one. Blood. Uh. Blood. Foot. Full. Foot. Good. Not bad. Number eight. Shoot. Swim. Crumbs. Remember that second sound. Oon. Swoon. Should swoon crumbs. Number nine. Crook, room, fun. Okay. Number ten. Hook, hue, hung. Okay. Not bad. This is a discrimination. You are going to sing, you are going to hear some words. Some words are the you sound, others are you, and um, still other. Using a sheet of paper and without looking at the video, write U if the word sounds like the U. Write U if the word sounds like U. Okay. But O if the word has that sound. 
Want to play the video and repeat each word up to the speaker? Okay, here you go. Number one. Room. I'm going to say not room, but ra, rum, rum. Number two. Doom. Good. Doom. Number three. Well. No. Duel. You're thinking duel in Spanish. No. Duel. Duel. Number four. Zong. Done. Done. Number five. Rook. Good. Number six. Rule. Good. Number seven. Rule. Rook. It's more rut. Uh, rut. Number eight. Su. It's more not su, but zu. You have to pronounce that z with more vibration. It's not an s. Number nine. Root. Rude. Make it a little bit longer. Rude. Number ten. Gum. 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 Uh, gum. Number eleven. Gok. Good. Number 12. Hang. Nice. Number 13. Swum. Okay. Number 14. Cook. Make it a little more the, the horseshoe you uh, cook. Cook. Number 15. Come. Number sixteen. Jul. Number seventeen. Jum. No. Yum. Not jum, but yum. Number eighteen. Num. 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 Number nineteen. Num. Okay. Number 20, not. Okay. Now let's practice these one more time. So I think the the wedge sound you're having a little bit more trouble with. That's the upside down V. That particular sound like rum, done, rut, gum, hunk. That sound you're, you know how to pronounce it, but you're just not sure what words have that sound. So you have to get used to that a little bit. So repeat after me. Let's start with one. Rum, two, dune, three, duel, four, done, five, rook, six, rule, seven, rut, eight, zoo, nine, rude, ten, gum, eleven, guck, number twelve, hunk, Number 13, swoon. 14, cook. 15, come. 16, yule. 17, yum. 18, numb. 19, noon. 20, nut. 21, nook. 22, new. Actually, you're going to be doing those. Wait a minute. Number 21, Nook. Here we go. Number 32, New. It's 22, not 32. Number 23, Jewel. I would say they're not Jewel, but Jewel. 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 Number 24, Jump. You got it. Number 35. Foot. Okay, make it a little bit longer. Food.
Number 26. Do. Do. A little bit longer. Do. Number 27. Sludge. Okay. Number 28. School. All right. Number 39. Scoop. Say scud. Scud. Number 30. Brook. 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 As in a small stream. Number 30. Brook. Boy, the correct is the one. Get ready. Here's some tongue twisters for you. Number one. The rum in the doom was fought for in the duel. And when duel was fought for in the duel. The fight was done. The rook ruled. Ruled. The rook ruled. Let's do this one again. You ready? The rum in the doom was fought for in the duel. And when the fight was done, the rook ruled. Number two. When you are in a rook rook. You no, a rude rut. A rude rut. Then go to the zoo to see a home of gorillas who chew gum and eat duck. Good. Pronounce that. A hunk of gorillas. Not gorillas, but gorillas. Gorillas. Okay, let's go to the next one here. Number three. A swarm of cooks come to the house to prepare a jewel of foods not known to the guests who all say yum. 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 Let's try this one again. A swoon of cooks come to the house to prepare a yule of foods not numb to the guests who all say yum. Number four. A noon the new nuts and jewels on the loop were taken by a tip who threw everything into a sack and jumped and who jumped through a window. Okay, not bad. The word through, through, that TH sound. Let's read this one again. Four. At noon, the new nuts and jewels on the nook were taken by a thief who threw everything into a sack and who jumped through a window. Number five. The scat slash on you at the new school was dumped into a brook. Good on the intonation there. I like that. So A, B, and C. Rise, rise, and then fall. You remember. So the scud, sludge, and dew at the new school was dumped into a brook. Exercise two. Exercise two. Okay. According to the book, the electrical basis for the magnetic properties of matter has been verified down to the atomic level. Not bad. So take the word verified. Has been verified down to the atomic level. Just pronounce the V with a little more vibration so we know that it's not a B consonant sound. Very good on your pacing, by the way, in that Because sentence. the electron has both an electric charge and a spin. According to the book, the electrical basis for the magnetic properties of matter has been verified down to the atomic level because the electron has both an electric charge of and a spin. Okay. It can be called a charge in motion. This charge in motion. Say so the word not this, but this, it, this, this. Gives a rise to a tiny magnetic field. In the case of many atoms, 
all the electrons are there with energetic levels according to the exclusion principle so that the electrons in each pair have opposite and the parallel spins and their magnetic fields cancel. Okay. In some atoms, however, there are more electrons with spins in one direction than in the other, okay. resulting in a net magnetic field for the atom as a whole. The situation exists in a paragraph. Paramagnetic substance there, and the word this, not this, but this. See, that sound is killing your pronunciation right now, right? So you need to do a little bit more work on the meat mitt. I already gave you a homework assignment on that one, so you need to practice just that one column, work really hard on that, then send that back to me. Okay, so let's do it together now. Let's read that paragraph together. You ready? According to the book, the electrical basis for the magnetic properties of matter has been verified down to the atomic level. Because the electron has both an electric charge and a spin, it can be called a charge in motion. This charge in motion gives rise to a tiny magnetic field. In the case of many atoms, all the electrons are paired within energy levels according to the exclusion principle so that the electrons in each pair have opposite anti-parallel spins and their magnetic fields cancel. In some atoms, however, there are more electrons with spins in one direction than in the other, resulting in a net magnetic spin for the atom as a whole. This situation exists in a paramagnetic substance. Alright, so overall I think you're making progress here, uh, so I think you can move on. And the one sound that, and you don't have to really get, think, any more comments on me on, but it's that, that final sound, the uh, uh, that sound you can probably work on a little bit more as you practice. See if I can find it. It's this one, the one, luck. Tough, cut, hut, rust, blood, fudge, crumbs, fun. That particular sound sometimes you you have a tendency to sometimes substitute that for one of the other vowels that you've been learning. Alright, thank you.